So this morning, got up pretty excited to go down and see these guys doing an Everest, 8,900 meters of climbing, uh, the same as climbing Mount Everest on Lone Kerry Track, which is down near Kerry Kerry, which is near Piha, west coast of Auckland. So we went up there this morning, I took the drone, um, met up with Frank, Dave and Louise and we went down there to give them some encouragement. And this is what happened. I'll tell you what, this helmet looks massive. <laughs> it looks, at this angle, like I have got a massive mushroom on my head. Saves my head though. So we're winding our way down Lone Carey Track now and we should see them soon. We just saw a bike on the roof, we hope no one's had to pack it in. You have to do eight. Eight, eight, four, eight, eight, four, eight, four, eight, eight, four, two. Eight, eight, four, two. Meters. Are you going to go over just in case? The calculation is to do 39. Right. Uh, but we're doing 40. Just to take any discrepancies out. When we sent it to the Everest uh, authorities, they yeah. give it, they give it the, uh, the green light. Oh, right. Oh, so people are going to know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All I care about is my legs will know that I've done it. <laughs> so whose idea was this? Well, I, got, I got the seed, I think, and then... We all kind of have wanted to do one for a while. Yeah. We, were, we talked about it a couple of times over coffee, and, and then Fran I think Francois and James took the ball and ran with it. <laughs> And, then, so, yeah. and it snowballed from much. there. I couldn't back out. Yeah. <laughs> we kind of kept it a little bit quiet up until about two weeks ago, just because we were like, Are oh, you going to do it? Pretty big. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Just banana, chia seeds. It looks like gruel. Uh, oh, and that's like a bacon and egg. Yeah, it's, like a, it's like a rice cake recipe in a bowl. Awesomeness. You know, yeah. there's a massive slip on Lone Carry Road. At least we won't be on that program. I shouldn't be alive, you know, where they did something <laughs> yeah. and they ran out of everything. We're gonna be sweet for It's not a drinking seawater. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> almost, almost pumped off. But. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
So they are going pretty well up this hill. I'm absolutely astounded that they actually just keep going and going and going. Because that's what, they're on the hill will repeat 22 now. And they're going at a fair old lick. I would have, I would be going a bit slower myself. But um, this first section is the hardest. It's got to be like 14% or so going up this bit. But then it flattens out and it's kind of a bit of a rest and a bit of a chill out. And then you get to the top, turn around, come back down. Um, actually coming down's a bit of a pain. Uh, brake pads are going to be worn through a treat. They're doing well, the three of them. I think they're going to make it and they're going to do it in a reasonably good time as well. These boys are averaging about 20 minutes a lap and by James's calculations they're not going to be finished till 7 o'clock tonight. So that's 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock midnight last night till 7 o'clock today. As much as I'm enjoying it I don't think I'll be around for 7 o'clock. Hey Dave, you gonna, you gonna ride till 7? <laughs> How many more to go? 30? No. Hey, <laughs> see you, Jeff. Good luck on your half, your half Everest. <laughs>
Mate, you alright? That was pretty good. You did alright, didn't you? That was a sprint. I didn't see any 30s in front of me. <laughs> Hard, man. I thought that was you coming across the line first. No, unfortunately no. Oh, man, that was hard. It looked pretty hard. It looked like every, hey, looked like everyone was going absolutely balls to the wall. Yeah. So hopefully the Everesting boys are going to be nearly done. Haven't seen anything on Facebook, so um, I'm hoping they made it. I reckon that by their estimation they're not going to be finished for another couple of hours but hopefully they manage to do it before the sun goes down. It's nearly there. So anyway, good luck boys. See you tomorrow. So uh, yeah, we came up with this idea three months ago. Um, planted a seed as, su as such and uh, yeah, it took, uh, took two months to come to fruition to get dates and <laughs> you know get the uh, get everybody all actually up for it and um, yeah now now it's done mm. you know a life a life long challenge that I've been meaning to do for a long time and I know these guys have as well yeah and um, now it's done and I couldn't have really thought of anybody else I'd want to do it with yeah. it was pretty it's awesome yeah. 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 like the greatest challenges in life uh, didn't really have much of a point, but um, as George Mallory said, we did it because it was there. I'm sort of taking him slightly out of context here, uh, <laughs> but it's an Everest theme, as you know. Um, we did it because we could, and uh, we're now Everest years, and uh, we get our name on the list with an asterisk next to it because first ascent. Yeah, yeah. and it we doesn't lucky. get much better than that. <sighs> lucky with the weather, we have a perfect day. Um, bone dry, beautiful sun, and yeah, thanks to Jeff also for coming and supporting us. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, th and, and thanks and all, to everybody yeah, else. All the WebScope guys too. Yeah, yeah all the WebScope guys away. and gals um, yeah. really helped at a yeah. particularly, particular low point in the day. Actually, mm. we were feeling a bit miserable. Yeah. Uh, just, yeah. c just clucked over <laughs> into like uh, halfway, realizing that everything we'd just done over the last eight hours we'd had to do all over again <laughs> which then took 10 hours yeah. so you know an, in an, an interesting experience yeah, yeah, so um yeah there all right go. cheers yep. cheers guys over and out